89, early 89, mid 89. I remember being at one of Salt and Pepper's video shoots and we're hanging out in one of the trailers outside of this scene they were doing that Salt and Pepper was doing for their video that was in a barber shop. I cannot remember what the name of that video was, but I remember there was a barber shop and we were hanging out in a trailer that was outside of the barber shop. Um, it was myself, maybe a few other artists that were in there. And somebody in that trailer had this new Ice Cube album. So at the time, all I knew about Ice Cube was, you know, he's one of the dudes from NWA. But they're playing this album and everybody is like, you got to hear this. So the album's playing and it's, it's hot. It's hot. For me... At that time, I was just thinking, how is any of this going to get any radio play? With all the cursing, even though it was ridiculously hot, I was like, how's this guy getting radio play? Like, how's that going to happen? Um, that didn't matter, right? Because, of course, you can bleep curses out, X, Y, and Z. And um, that, that album began to blow up. Now, we were listening to the album before it even got to the radio. Somebody had an advanced copy, and we were just listening to it. Everybody's like, yo, th this is going to blow up. This is going to be ridiculous. Um, so that's that's my first memory of Ice Cube. So fast forward, uh, I win the World Championship Rap Contest. I get together with Miz, with partners. And we find ourselves on the Ice Cube Too Short Tour. So this is 1990. And on that tour was uh, Miz and I, Poor Righteous Teachers, Ghetto Boys, D-Nice, Kid Rock, Too Short, and Ice Cube. At that time, Kid Rock had a high top. A starched out high top. And I remember clearly, we're all wondering, how did this guy get on tour? He was like one of the opening acts. And we were like, how did this guy get on this tour? Uh, to my understanding, he was a jive artist at that time. And um, there might have been a few other acts on jive at that time. You guys got to go back and check. And um, do you do diligence on that? But Kid Rock was on that tour. Uh, we had D-Nice. And then um, I remember discovering Too Short. You know, I didn't know a lot about Too Short. On the East Coast, it wasn't bumping a lot of Too Short. But on tour, I'm thinking we're going to go from city to city and Ice Cube will be headlining in every city. But that wasn't the case there was many cities that we went to where Too Short was a headliner. Ice Cube would go on just before Too Short. Too Short was a headliner. To my amazement, because they wasn't bumping Too Short in New York. I, I had no clue he was that big an artist. Anyway, um, so we're on this, uh, this, this uh, tour with Ice Cube and Too Short and all the other acts. And I remember on that tour, one of the announcements... You know, uh, I think in one of the cities before we did sound check, uh, I can't remember if it was somebody from our camp um, that was with, you know, Miz and I and Poor Righteous Teachers. But somebody was like, keep in mind, NWA is looking for Q. Big beef going on. NWA is looking for Q. So everybody, you know, just just a heads up. I'm thinking, man, like, Really? This dude has like extreme beef and we're on tour with him. Like who knows what's going to happen because the announcement is like heads up. They come in for Q. They're coming for Q. Um, so I remember that. Um, but I have to say it, it didn't seem like uh, Cube wasn't walking around like he, he was worried about that. Um, and maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. You know, I can't judge. I, I never talked to him about anything like that. Um, but where I'm going is from what, what I can remember on that tour, you know, Cube was a cool dude, very laid back. Maybe he was, uh, 
laid back for a reason. Um, you know, but very laid back dude, very cool, nice guy. Um, oh, Yo Yo was on that tour, so um, shout out to Yo Yo. And um, uh, you know, so it's Ice Cube and, and the Lynch Mob, and um, it, it was uh, it was quite interesting. I, I remember in one city. I'm sure we were doing sound check because I, I don't think this happened in the middle of a show. But Ice Cube or, or one of us were doing our sound check and it was these dudes from that city to, to the left of stage, up a few rows. And they were like taunting Ice Cube and the lynch mob, right? You know, come to this city, blah, 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 this, that, that, this, this, that. And I remember... Ice Cube and his boys just like were talking on stage like, okay, they're right there. Okay, some of y'all go around the back, blah, blah, blah. I'll go this way, this, that, this, that. They they made their way up there and them dudes for some reason stood there and they they got it handed to them. They got it handed to them something awful. Um, So, you know, at the time, even though that beef was going on with NWA, you know, it wasn't like um, Cube and them was, you know, taking shorts or taking any flack um from people uh but again when when we was hanging out when we was in the hotel i remember one time um you know we were in ice cube's room and it was me um wise intelligence yo yo cube and maybe maybe somebody else so so somebody started rhyming and um you know we started doing a little cypher and um i think yo yo went uh, maybe Wise Intelligence went. I don't remember the order because um, it was uh, a long time ago. Uh, but I remember Cube just looking. First, he was sitting on the bed, you know, um, flip flops on, you know, whatever. He's sitting on the bed. Then he got out of the bed, you know, to come closer to the cypher. And he just had this look and he was like, I, he was like, I, I'm not rhyming with you, Fresco. He was like, I, 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 don't, I don't be doing all that fast stuff and all that stuff. He was like, nah, he's like, y'all go ahead. And it it was so funny because he was just like he was like basically saying I, I don't have time for all of that, you know. Um, mind you, this this guy has some of the hottest records out, you know. I mean, he was killing killing the shows, but there were definitely times where he was he was in chill mode. Um, but one funny thing I remember was uh, we were doing an in store. And, you know, for those who don't know, you, you, you go to a record store and you're basically, you know, the fans come and you're signing autographs. So, um, we're sitting down, I'm here, Miz is there, we're sitting and, and Ice Cube's next to me. And there's the line of people's coming around and we're, we're signing autographs. And it's a long line of people. Um, and, and we were doing this every day, you know, uh, multiple in-stores a day. And at this particular in-store, these people are coming around and I'm, you know, they would come around and, and Cube had big posters. And I, I had a little um, eight and a half by ten um, headshot joint of me and Miz. But Cube had these posters. So, you know, that that was funny. We was laughing about that through the whole thing. Um, so we're signing and um, somebody would come by. Cube would sign his poster and he would go like that. And then, boom, that person would come to come to um, Miz and then Miz would be like, Da, 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 and, you know, he would sign it. Then it would come to me and, you know, I'd, I'd be like, you know, what's your name? Um, they tell me their name and I would put their name down and I would write a little something. You know, uh, that's that's what I would do. I would write a little something. Then I would sign my name after that. So that's how it was going. The, the people were coming around. Q would just be like, boom, Miz will go. Da, 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 and then I would go, hey, what's your name? OK, cool. You know, Stacy. Da, 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 you know, uh, stay in school. Or, I, you know, I was just writing these things, you know, be positive, you know, reach your goals, all kind of stuff. Fresh go. So after a while, you know, I'm looking at Cube and I'm like, man, I was like, is your hand cramping? And he was like, nah. And I was like, man, my like my fingers are cramping. And Cube was like, that's because you're over there writing novels and love stories to these people. <laughs> I just started laughing and he was just like, just sign your name. And and right there, I was like, okay, I'm done. I'm done with the, 
you know, what's your name? Stay in school. Keep the faith. I just boom, fresh go from that point on. So I have to say, um, basically, Cube taught me how to sign an autograph at that time without having your hand cramp up from writing like novels in the autograph. Uh, so that's that's one of the moments I, I remember um, about touring with Cube and, and that time. And and again, all, all, even though that N.W.A. stuff was going on. And um and and you see it now. It, it was crazy when I saw the um the uh, NWA movie. You know, it, it was a very good movie because a, a lot of it was very accurate. Um, in my opinion, and I remember that time, and I didn't know all of that was going on. Uh, one other thing I'll say in in closing, we were doing that tour, right? You know, Ice Cube, Too Short. They were flip flopping on who was headlining in what city. This guy has this hot album out. Two shorts killing it. He's, you know, people are just singing like every verse. He's basically sticking the mic out. He doesn't have to like say a verse because the crowd is like singing the whole thing. Um, you know, all this stuff was going on. But what I didn't know was he had to be working on that first movie, Boys in the Hood. While we were on tour, he, he was either writing it or he was in talks about it. But all of that had to have been worked on while we was on that tour because that tour was in like winter of 1990 and boys in the hood probably came out a little little while after that so he must have been working on that movie i'm not sure when he had the time to do it but you know um bravo the cube and um there you go One. Go.